lagi di Binai Channel. Well, kali ini again aku kolaborasi nggak bareng si Evor tapi bareng teman dari India. Yuhu. <laughs> Yourself? Hey guys, uh, I'm Haris Khan and I'm nephew of Shah Rukh Khan. Wow! <gasps> As you may know. Are you Are you kidding? Seriously? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I almost believe that it was true, right? Uh, Haris Khan, Shah Rukh Khan. Well, <laughs> can be family. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to our channel, the B Night Channel, Harris. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Nice to be here. So you're from India, right? Yeah, I'm from uh, India. Which is, uh, which city exactly? I am from Delhi, basically. It's uh, the capital of India. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. And Shah Rukh Khan is also from Delhi, so you know <laughs> where I'm coming from. <laughs> <laughs> so you you are actually a fan of Shah Rukh Khan, as I, well, right? Like. Uh, Everybody, most of the people, I could say, like 90% of Indians are like fan of Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, he's a superstar. He, not even in India, he's very popular outside of India as well. In Indonesia as well. That's oh, yeah. why I brought Harris here. So what we're gonna do today? Kita mau ngapain hari ini? Jadi kita akan bikin reaksi video. Kalau kita biasa kan nonton lagu-lagu India dan culture kita terpengaruh banget sama musik India. Nah, gimana kalau aku nunjukin culture dangdut kita dan memperkenalkannya ke Harris? Aku pengen tahu banget gimana reaksinya dia nonton musik dangdut. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, are you excited? Yeah, definitely. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, let's do this. So, okay. so dangdut is kind of like a folk music in Indonesia. Like everybody loves dangdut. I love okay. dangdut. Yeah. So the dangdut has a very strong influence from Indian music. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Exactly. That's why I brought it here. <laughs> um, so that's why I just want to know if that's true or not because that's an Indian, right? You know what is Indian music and then if, if I just play it to you whether it's right or not. But this is what we believe. We got this music from India. So, and then of course it uh, assimilated with our culture mm -hmm. and that's how we got this uh, dangdu. Okay, okay, let's go. So the first video, mm -hmm. it comes from the king uh, of dangdu. His name is Roma Irama. This is from 19 something. Forget. <laughs> so, let's check it out. Yeah, you cannot. You have to move your body, right? If yeah. you're to me, time it. So, I'll just. Maybe. They're kind of picking the soul like Indian uh, singers do. Right? They do this, uh, yeah. right? More uh, kind of exactly. sound. Exactly. Yeah. It's difficult. If you if you want to be a dangdut singer, you have to have this kind of uh, vocal. Yeah, yeah. Because it's difficult. I cannot sing like that. But, yeah. uh, it's difficult. So. Yeah, yeah. It, right? Yeah. What is it? It, it sounds familiar, yeah. Yeah, this is like, yeah, we have this, uh, how to say it? This yeah. flute, flute, yeah, right? Flute, bas, flute, yeah, flute, basuri. Yeah. This guy totally looks like Udit Nara and he's a singer in India. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's really like him, maybe he was inspired by him. <laughs> like, he was really famous in 90s, so this yeah. movie call him like a king of uh, Dangdut. Uh -huh. Like Shah Rukh Khan is a king of Bollywood. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, but he's for Dangdut. So like all his music is kind of like mad. Like, yeah, you could do it. It's melodious, yeah. You could listen to it the whole day. Right? Yeah. So what is what are exactly the similarities from this uh, music that you see? The, the Indian culture. The similarity, I could uh, say that uh, uh, they are picking up the sort like like they are uh, trying to sing it in uh, layers, mm -hmm. like it's a wave, wavy kind and of the voice, sound. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, and the background music, the flute, uh, uh, all the instruments that they are playing, it's kind of similar. Mm. Yeah. But you're using also like a guitar as well and... Uh, yeah, we use sitar. Oh, sitar, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I know this is so typical Indian, it's yeah, so special. It, it, it sounds like more traditional, uh, similarly uh, like Indian traditional music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, this is like the old one, but the downgrade now is kind of like transforming. Uh -huh. So within the t time, so now you get all the influence from the modern music and stuff. So in Indonesian downgrade is not that pure with this kind of ding ta ding ta ding ta. They have the beat, okay. but they also mix it with uh, other. So this is from 2014. Oh no, it's this, oh, this one. Yeah. More recent one. Oh, I like the girl. <laughs> beautiful, <laughs> right? Yeah, there's all beautiful girls singing down to it, so... Yeah, I like Indonesian people, especially <laughs> girls. We call it like Dangdut Kopo. Kopolo. It's Kopolo, exactly. Okay. It's just a bit different. They have the beat so you can dance and even like a set song. Uh -huh. They will just put this beat so then even like the song is set, you will just dance. Yeah, this look, looks more classy. Oh my god. <laughs> Who is this girl? <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Chita Chitata. Oh, Chita Chitata. Beautiful, like, eh? Yeah, she is. Indonesian girl. <laughs> I have a thing for Asian girls, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but girl, you're Asian, so basically no problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm an Indian girl, I'm so beautiful. I like it. Like, you have this uh, long hair. And yeah, really yeah, black. yeah. Especially Punjabi. Yeah. yeah. It's typical now, like in why I told you, like download getting a bit cheaper because this what you see if you see the uh, the video, mm -hmm. it will be like sexy, yeah, yeah, with the dress and yeah. so. So people not there's more, more glamour that I can see in the more recent ones. Yeah. Exactly. The same same thing happens in Bollywood. Like the older uh, music used to be more traditional, like only the uh, people didn't used to dance so much, and now mm -hmm. the glamour has added so much into the Bollywood industry. Or the music industry mm -hmm. that uh, more often you see more okay glamorous people more makeup more yeah, stunning right? more hot like real yeah, yeah with the, what they have to wear <laughs> yeah. and the like body shape right yeah, yeah. and yeah I mean it's okay but I don't know it's just kind of like controversial because for some people said yeah you know like you enjoy the music yeah, but they, they say that good old classic is some people's choice so, yeah, yeah everlasting right yeah. yeah it's the same like like this one it's nice it's like uh, easy listening yeah this is the one and then the latest uh, famous one he even likes the song Basti mm -hmm. it's even not that so done with anymore yeah beats exactly we totally dance on that it's nice, eh? Oh, there's even like a translation, uh, yeah. translation in there, so you you can understand the song. Contact. What I like from Indian song, mm -hmm. you know, like you have this eye contact. Oh my god, if I'm watching uh, Saruka mm -hmm. when he's just talking and then start the video, it's like, oh, what is he doing? Like he's staring at me, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have that? Do you have that like, kind of Yeah, I kind charming? of, not charming, like I can say, I can look, uh, play around with my expressions maybe a little bit. Uh, I, I uh, sometimes make TikTok videos which are oh, from TikTok. Shahrukh Khan's songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I try to like copy his style. Can, can you do it? Can you do it? <laughs> to start to the camera. <laughs> I cannot see from here, but uh, I believe you because I've watched one. Dia bisa itu mata menggoda. Yeah. yeah, we don't really have that kind of uh, in, in our dangdut, so no, not so many guys can do that. And mm -hmm. that's what I like from Indian. Yeah, expressions, but yeah, I'm exactly, full of expressions. Exactly, like yeah. the, the eyes can speak, you know, like they can <laughs> melt your hearts. Like, oh my god, is there a me? <laughs> I'm melting. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty popular in Indonesia. This the latest uh, popular song. So it's not that the dangdut like the beat. Mm -hmm. It's not so the. It, it must be a remix of uh, the modern music. Exactly. 
done exactly yeah. but they try here to make it a bit different you know it's uh -huh. not too much sexy but they made kind of to make it look like a bit hip hop yeah. and the way the, the girls dress up is not typical dangdut because normally they just like yeah the most difference that i saw from the 90s video and this recent one is like people are more dancing and using the dance steps in the video exactly yeah but like the the Indian songs, this is always like that, that you always like dance. Like we, we uh, most of the Bollywood songs or Indian songs are like pumped up with energy and uh, yeah, there's too much dance and uh, yeah, any Indian movie is not made, uh, no Indian movie is made without any dance video. Uh, we have uh, mus music with dance and yeah, that's a prerequisite that has to be there. The flavor of dance and music uh, in a film. Yeah, that's, that's, this is like the most thing I love from India because this all dance in the group of yeah. people and dance. It just wow. <laughs> it's somehow I thought like, oh, maybe that auntie can dance as well. Yeah, that, that doesn't happen in real life, but yeah, in the, in the movies, like in this fictional world, they have like, okay, for any small thing, they, you need to dance, you need to be there. Exactly. There. You know, like what I imagine almost with the Indian movie. It's a, you always have the police in the movie and <laughs> you're dancing under the rain. So Yeah, dancing in the rain is <laughs> in the, exactly in the rain. It's so like considered the most romantic thing in Bollywood industry. Yeah, yeah so it started with maybe uh, uh, Kuch Kuch Hota Hai when uh, Shah Rukh and uh, Kajol they they started dancing in the rain and, and then suddenly like it's booming like yeah. every movie doing it. It was like really doing nice. ten ten and ten and ten. Oh yeah. yeah. Right? Yes, yes, exactly. Wow, Ooh. this girl knows about yeah, Bollywood. <laughs> as long as it's the old one I know. <laughs> don't bring the new one, I don't know. Yeah, the good old classic, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's all. I so saw I just saw you like for videos and what is your opinion? Uh, I think there are a lot of similarities between Indian music and uh, the Indonesian one, uh, especially this dangdut that you just shared mm -hmm. with me. So can you enjoy uh, the music even you don't know the lyrics? The last, the last two ones, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because the that. girls are beautiful. The girls are beautiful. <laughs> That's obviously the reason that because I'm a guy, I need, uh, I follow girls. And <laughs> the second thing is the the tune or the music, the background was so uh, entertaining. I could totally go to the mm -hmm. beats and mm -hmm. like watching these guys dance in front of me I was I was also like so you okay. can enjoy the music even you don't know the, the lyrics yeah right? exactly I uh, I know Hindi but uh, I still enjoy Punjabi songs and Punjabi is quite different from Hindi mm, okay so, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that music has any barrier of language between that's uh, true yeah, that's right? why we because you listen to the beats right yeah. the music so yeah that's I why agree, we see definitely. so many of the uh, viral videos of different languages getting mm. viral yeah. that's true exactly yeah. yeah I think the same like in Indonesia we love Indian music and we sometimes Oh, most of the time we don't know what it's all about but still you, the way they sing when it's a sad song it may be really sad so it's like, <laughs> even like sometimes I hear like a, some Indian song that is really sad that I will be like oh I'm crying it's just because like, I don't know what this I even don't know what does it mean but like it's just like they sing it really nice and it touch your heart yeah, so yeah yeah that's the thing yeah that's cool so guys that's it this is really funny to watch indonesian dangdut with the indian guy and dia bilang emang lagu kita lagu dangdut kita benar-benar mirip benar-benar uh, punya uh, apa sih namanya sangat-sangat dipengaruhi oleh musik india dan dia bisa sangat menikmati musiknya even dia nggak tahu liriknya itu apa mungkin yang old old yang nggak bisa nggak terlalu gimana well old but uh, dangdut yang sekarang ini buat dia lumayan uh, Lumayan, uh, lumayan bagus untuk di, di nikmati. Okay then, so this is our video. Thank you for watching. And if you want to follow us, this is our Instagram. You can follow me and Harris, Harris also in TikTok. So if you want to watch him more doing his uh, eye speaking or whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> playing with the expressions, yeah. Exactly, it's like an Indian guy. <laughs> chori chori chipke chipke, whatever. Uh, definitely. <laughs> He's totally into Bollywood, like yeah. yeah well, yeah, I was, I was. I, I love the way how you quote Bollywood in most of the sentences. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm good at it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you, thank you for joining me. My and pleasure. yeah, I'll see you next time, maybe for the next yeah, collaboration. Right. And guys, if you, kalian punya idea, uh, mau collab selanjutnya seperti apa? Don't forget just to write down here so that I can read and maybe next time we can collab again, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so Harris, have a good day and thank you for...
doing this collaboration. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye.